Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about RTA FFT, okay? We're all familiar with the RTA, we use it a lot. It's a real-time measurement in terms of octaves, but a lot of you don't know what the FFT is. So fast Fourier transform, it's an algorithm, okay, that, that someone created, and it helps us measure those frequencies with inside the octaves. I think that's the easiest way to say it. They both work the same way. They're both in real time. They both uh, operate under the same principle. It's just that the RTA is in octave bands and the FFT is in frequencies. And you need to use them both. And use them both every day because take it with you. You can get the apps, put them on your phone, and take it with you and use them in restaurants and get familiar how sound works. And you'll start to really see some things that you never really understood about sound before. So when you see the octave movements, you know, in the RTA, and then you switch over to the FFT and see the individual frequency components inside the RTA, inside the octave band, you really start to get a handle on how sound moves in rooms. And that's a great exercise that you can do for yourself. Be a little bit careful. You know, a lot of people don't like, you know, you, you redo, they think you're recording or doing stuff like that. So you got to be a little bit careful. But today, everybody's staring at their phone. So it's not really that big of a deal. I have a, a phone with the external mic on it. And that kind of is kind of a little bit crazy. But I like the resolution of the microphone. So I don't like to use the internal mics on the uh, uh, phones that much. They have application in certain situations. But... I like a, a, a more uh, wider field of recording. So, But do that little exercise with the RTA and the FFT, and you'll, you'll really get a handle on, on how sound moves in rooms, how sound moves within the, uh, within the RTA itself, because sound has this characteristic movement. And it's really the same in, in all areas. And if you familiarize yourself with it, I have it on all the time when I'm working at the computer, when I'm playing music because I like to see how sound moves all the time. And you can do the same thing. So both, especially with the apps that we have today, have pressure levels associated with them too. So you really get a nice educational tool using both of them. So if you're having trouble locating them, just send me an email. I'll send you a link to the ones that we use and you can download, download them on your phone. I think they're a dollar each or something from the app store. So they're not that expensive. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions, and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.